Jubilee Trophy, Championship Game, Winnipeg, Manitoba. The North London Galaxy taking on an undefeated Sir United club. North London looking to knock off the defending national champs from last year on a cold Thanksgiving Monday morning. The game got off to a slow start with neither team really finding their groove. Not until Natalie McCabe scored for North London in the 42nd minute just before the half. I know how fast Mackenzie is, so I just knew I had to get up there, and then it bounced out, and I happened to be in the right place at the right time, and I knew there was lots of players in front of me, so I just had to hit it as hard as I can, and I was lucky that it slipped right through. Tell, tell us about that feeling when the ball hit the back of the net there. I, it was a bit surreal. I'm not really a goal scorer, so it doesn't happen a lot for me, but it was really exciting, but it was also so early on in the game that I knew we had a long way to go, so it was just like get right back and get right back into it. McCabe's goal proved to be the game winner, although Rebecca Jefferson for the Galaxy hit the post, and Surrey did have several chances, but failed to capitalize. Congratulations to the North London Galaxy 2012 Jubilee Trophy Champions. It's jubilation in the Jubilee final for the North London Galaxy who win their first ever Jubilee Trophy here in Winnipeg. Men's final challenge trophy, the 99th time this hardware has been handed out. Royal Select Bullport from Quebec versus Edmonton Scottish representing Alberta. This game got intense early. Pascal Braniello in the 29th minute lays down a hard challenge on Edmonton's Michael McCormick. McCormick left with an injury and Braniello was given a red card, which left Bullport Quebec down to 10 men for the remainder of the match. Captain Kyle Barkas opened the scoring for Edmonton, his first of two on the day. It was a back and forth match. Bullport Quebec briefly took a 2-1 lead. Edmonton answered with two goals of their own to make it 3-2. Ten minutes after Edmonton scored to take the lead, Samuel Georgette gets his second helper of the match as Beauport evens the score in the 76th minute. After 30 minutes of extra time, it came down to penalty kicks. Vincent Cornoyer made two huge saves in the shootout to backstop his squad to victory. <laughs> 